means get ready winter driving right around the corner. So is enough being done to make sure you're safe on the roads. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm James Jarman. And I'm Heather Scold. New tonight, your safety on the roads. El Paso County crews say several roads could get worse into the winter. That's because our wet summer put the county behind on several projects. And tonight, one road is already closed because of heavy rain. The county says Black Forest Road closed a week early between Swan and Shoop Roads. They plan to close it next week because they thought it would get worse this coming winter. But a failing culvert is just too dangerous tonight because of today's rain. The county says funds for road work had to be used to repair damage caused by the summer rain. Cardio News Channel 13's Angelica Lombardi is live from Black Forest with what's being done to help our roads. It's new at 10 o'clock. Heather, this damaged culvert is just one of several projects that could get worse as we get into winter, and there's not much that can be done. We are well behind where we ought to be. Dave and Rose says the roads will only get worse because of limited funds and resources. As soon as we're not plowing snow, those same trucks uh, begin to do uh, patch crew. Crews say their biggest concern so far this winter is this failing culvert off of Shoop Road. It was installed back in 1976, and now pipes and dirt are starting to wash away. It's going to be a pain. Yeah, because I'll have to go down. There's a road here. It kind of goes in a square. Diane Brown is one of several people in the Black Forest area affected by the three mile long closure. Especially if it snows, that'll be a lot harder because it. The roads around. Oh, I'm sure for everybody who has to detour, it will be an inconvenience. And when I want to go north, of course, then I'll have to go the long way around instead of the short way. A temporary but necessary closure to ensure safety. The number one priority, of course, is public safety. You want to make sure that you have the roads open so that the fire trucks and ambulances can get there and folks can get to work. And crews hope to have this road back open by next July. As for the other roads, they'll have to wait until next year. Live in Black Forest, Angelica Lombardi, Cardio News Channel 13. All right, thanks so much.